Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we are going to measure the synchronous generator model parameters. In the previous lecture, we derived the synchronous generator model and the equivalent circuit of the gene uh, synchronous generator, which looks like this. This is the field circuit and this is the stator circuit, in which EA synchronous reactance, armature, resistance. E is the internal generated EMF, IF is the field current. So, in order to the equivalent circuit of a synchronous generator that has been derived contain three quantities. These three quantities have to be measured for the better understanding and to describe the behavior of real synchronous generator. First is the relationship between the field current and flux and relationship between the field current and IA like this how much IF is increased EA is increased so first have to be understand this relationship then what will be the synchronous reactance of the synchronous generator and what will be the resistance of the synchronous generator in order to measure these three quantities the first step in this process is to perform the open circuit test which is the open circuit test this open circuit test is same like we perform the open circuit test in the transformer like first open the terminal stator terminals of the generator and then runs the generator at the full load increase the field uh, sub field current and then calculate the v phase and plot the graph between if and v phase so in open circuit characteristics the first one is Generator have to be run at the rated speed. Generator have to be run at the rated speed at no load. There should be no load at the stator terminals. Terminals are disconnected. Or open, you can call it as open circuit. So at this point, first, if this is the field current, IF should be zero. If IF at this point should be 0 and then field current increase gradually so V phase across the terminals of the stator winding will increase gradually as this is the open circuit so there will be no current in the stator winding so IA will be 0 and if IA is 0 EA will be equal to V phase. So this V phase and EA will be equal in this condition in the open circuit test. So the graph should be look like like this and this. This is called as air gap line. So this graph is called as open circuit characteristics of a generator. Open circuit characteristics of a generator. So with these characteristics, it is possible to find the internal generated voltage of the generator for any given field current. For example, if we have the field current of, so we can measure the internal generated EMF accordingly with this graph. So that's how the open circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator look like. 
you can see that in the beginning the line is linear but at the top the line will not become linear the reason for this is that in the beginning till now here the iron core is unsaturated is unsaturated but when field current is increasing the flux in the iron core in increases and when the flux reached at some point at this point the iron core will become start saturating so because of this the increase in the uh, field current will not increase the wave phase linearly so the linear portion of an open circuit characteristics that one the linear portion is called the air gap line of the characteristics the second step in the process of measuring the parameters of the synchronous generator model is to conduct the short circuit test first we did the open circuit test now short circuit test short circuit test i think you are also familiar about this during the study of the transformer we did this short circuit and open circuit test on transformer in short circuit the like same terminology um, the stator winding of the generator is short circuited and then increase the field current and measure the ia accordingly so number 1 is to perform the short circuit test adjust the field current to zero and short circuit the terminals of the generator through a set of ammeter so through ammeters we can measure the current ia or the line current so it can be shown here like that if this is the field current so this is the armature current first increase the field current and measure the value of ia and plot the graph the graph look like this and it is called the short circuit characteristics of a synchronous generator short circuit characteristics of synchronous generator like this short circuit test so we can find at each point of the field current we know about the short circuit current value and we also know about the ea value at the each point of if uh, in order to understand you can see that this curve is totally linear why because the equivalent circuit of a synchronous generator looks like this and if these terminals are short circuited from this here to here then v phase will become zero because it is short circuited and ia will flow from here to here so that circuit look like this from here ia is equal to ea divided by j of xs plus ra and its magnitude is ea divided by under root ra square plus xs square the phasor diagram of the synchronous generator when v phase is equal to 0 can be given as like this so this is ia ra 90 degree jx ia and the corresponding magnetic fields are shown like this if this is br this is bs
and this is B net. This is B net. As you see, the B net corresponds to V phase as we study in the previous lecture. V phase is zero, so B net value is approximately very small. And when B net value is very small, since B S almost cancels B R, the net magnetic field is very small. Since the net magnetic field in the machine is so small, the machine is unsaturated and the SSC is linear. So in this case, machine totally remains unsaturated. Said that's why in the short circuit test, this curve is approximately linear. The internal machine impedance is given by Z S is equal to R A stator winding resistance plus synchronous reactance square under root. And this internal impedance machine can also be given as internal generated EMF divided by IA. And if XS is greater than greater than RA, so at this point RA can be ignored. It will just this. So Z S is equal to X S. So putting this here, X S will become approximately equal to E A over I A, and E A is equal to V terminal at open circuit divided by I A. So if we have E A and I A value, then the synchronous reactance can be found by this formula. So this whole method can be generalized into three steps. First, get the internal generated voltage E A from the open circuit characteristics at a field current like this. At a given field current, find the E A. Then, at a given field current, find the I A from the short circuit characteristics, and then apply this formula. Get the short circuit current flow IAC at that field current from the short circuit characteristics and then apply this formula and calculate the synchronous reactance at that point. So the synchronous reactance calculated by this formula, there is a problem with this approach. Uh, what problem? As we already studied that the internal generated EA, this EA comes from the open circuit characteristics. And an open circuit characteristics, the machine is partially saturated for large field currents. For example, if we want the value of E A at higher I F at large field currents, so machine becomes saturated. But for the same I F, when we have to calculate I A for the same I F, the machine is unsaturated. So there is a little bit error in this formula at the higher currents at which saturation occurs while IA is taken from the short circuit characteristics where the machine is unsaturated at all field current. So therefore at higher field currents the EA taken from the OCC at a given field current is not the same as the EA at the same field current under short circuit conditions. So that's why however the answer given by this approach is accurate up to the point of saturation. For example if answers are required under this value under the point of saturation then the answers are correct and answers are little bit inaccurate from the values which is required the saturated uh, EA. Now the next important term is the related to the synchronous generator study is the 
शॉर्ट सर्कट रेशो शॉर्ट सर्कट रेशो ऑफ अ जनरेटर इज द रेशो ऑफ द फील्ड करंट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेटेड वोल्टेज एट ओपन सर्कट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेटेड वोल्टेज एट ओपन सर्कट टू द फील्ड करंट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेटेड आर्मेचर करंट एट शॉर्ट सर्कट so this is the short circuit ratio and uh, this ratio is important it's variously used in industry and in mathematical uh, problems so now example 5.1 टू हंड्रेड के वी ए फोर एटी वोल्ट फिफ्टी हर्ट वाई कनेक्टेड सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर विद आर एटेड फील्ड करंट ऑफ फाइव एम्पेयर वॉज टेस्टेड एंड वी एंड दी फॉलोइंग डाटा वॉर टेकन नंबर वन इज वी टर्मिनल ओपन सर्किट विच इज फाइव फोर्टी वोल्ट आई लाइन शॉर्ट सर्किट विच इज थ्री हंड्रेड एम्पेयर and third one is when a dc voltage of 10 volt was applied to two of the terminals a current 25 ampere is flow was measured so find the value of armature resistance and synchronous reactance as the generator is y connected if v dc is applied to the two terminals then two windings comes in the way so two of r a is equal to v dc over i dc टेन डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी जीरो पॉइंट टू सो दिस इज दैल्यू ऑफ आर्मेच्योर रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ वन वाइंडिंग एंड दिस इंक्रोनस रिएक्टेंस फॉर्मूला कैन बी फाउंड एज एज वी नो जी एस इज इक्वल टू ई ए पावर आई ए and gs is equal to r a cos square is equal to e a and i a e a is v terminal divided by under root 3 for a single phase it is equal to 0.8 volt and i a is 300 ampere putting this value here and this value here and solving mathematically the synchronous reactance will be वन पॉइंट जीरो टू ओ हूँ 